cell phones. They're everywhere, and we use them for just about everything. More than just texting, cell phones have become an essential aspect to social interaction. And a group of students saw this in a different way and brought their perspectives to Salve students in the best way possible. Put your phones away! Put your phones away! With signs, chants, and handouts, students from the capstone course went to work protesting cell phone dependency during the annual Thanksgiving dinner at Miley Cafeteria. Student leader Zach Harlan, who organized the protest, feels very strongly that students should be able to put down their cell phones for a mere 45 minutes in order to enjoy genuine FaceTime with their friends. Well, the class, for the class, we need to do a protest, and doing it on the busiest meal of the year, Thanksgiving dinner, made the most sense. So we went around the cafeteria and we placed boats out for all the students to place their phones in. And all ideas, how we pitch it to them, is that there's no text, there's no Snapchat, there's no Vine, there's no tweet that's that important that you should be ignoring your friends, especially while you're at the dinner table. And also, if you're using your phone in a public area, it's most likely to set up your next date, seeing who you're going to see next, who you're going to hang out with next. And you're not really enjoying who you're with, who you're at the table with. You're not enjoying the conversation. You're not even enjoying the meal you're having because you're so concerned about what's happening next. So the idea is just to put your phone away for just those 45 minutes and just to be engaged with all the people that are around you. The student protest aimed to draw attention to a cell phone dependency that Harlan believes is harmful to his generation. I mean, this is really important to us just because as a millennial generation, we've really talked about how dependent we are on the cell phones and how it's gotten to the point where you can't even have a conversation with your friend without turning around and having them deep in their cell phone, not having any idea what you're talking about. And it's really something that you see around campus and Sally, we talk about family, we talk about community, but you're not really exhibiting those things by being in your phone and ignoring those you're with. There's been so many instances where I'll be in the middle of the story only to look up at my friends and have them ask me what, or I'll be trying to explain to somebody something or, you know, talk about what I just talked about in class, and they say, yeah, hold on a minute, they're on their phone. Students putting down their phones for a whole 45 minutes? Some might call it impossible, but even Zach was surprised at the response to the protest. It went very well, uh, contrary to what we were believing, just because of how dependent everyone is on the cell phones. Uh, there were a couple tables where they went up and they said, no, that's silly. But then when I explained, I said, is it silly that you can't, you know, you don't have the willpower to put your phone away for just 45 minutes to enjoy the presence of your friends? And it kind of made them realize, like, oh, wow, that is really silly. So I think it's really going well and people are realizing how addicted they really are once you put it away. The students hope that Miley will begin to provide cell phone baskets on the tables in the cafeteria to encourage students to look at their friends, not their phone. So how do you tell if a protest is a success? If the idea is to get attention and spread the message to more and more people, then maybe the movement has a chance to catch on. This has been Ciara Speller reporting for Salve Today.